Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. The lowly servant here. Welcome to my channel. Today is June 30, Tuesday of the 13th week in Ordinary Time. The Gospel said, Why are you terrified, O you little faith? Let me read first and reflect on it after. But first, The first reading is from the book of Amos. Hear this word, O children of Israel, that the Lord pronounces over you, over the whole family that I brought up from the land of Egypt. You alone have I favored, more than all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your crimes. Do two walk together unless they have agreed? Thus a lion roar in the forest when it has no prey. Does a young lion cry out from its den unless it has seized something? Is a bird brought to earth by a snare when there is no lure for it? Does a snare spring up from the ground without catching anything? If the trumpet sounds in a city, will the people not be frightened? If evil befalls a city, has not the Lord caused it? Indeed, the Lord God does nothing without revealing His plan to His servants, the prophets. The lion roars, who will not be afraid? The Lord God speaks, who will not prophesy? I brought upon you such upheaval, as when God overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. You were like a brand plucked from the fire, yet you returned not to me, says the Lord. So now I will deal with you in my own way, O Israel, and since I will deal thus with you, prepare to meet your God, O Israel. Lead me in your justice, Lord. At dawn I bring my plea expectantly before you. For you, O God, delight not in wickedness. No evil man remains with you. The arrogant may not stand in your sight. Lead me in your justice, Lord. You hate all evildoers. You destroy all who speak falsehood. The bloodthirsty and the deceitful the Lord abhors. Lead me in your justice, Lord. But I, because of your abundant mercy, will enter your house. I will worship at your holy temple in fear of you, O Lord. Lead me in your justice, Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. I trust in the Lord. My soul trusts in his word. Alleluia, alleluia. The Gospel according to Matthew. As Jesus got into a boat, his disciples followed him. Suddenly a violent storm came up on the sea, so that the boat was being swamped by waves, but he was asleep. They came and woke him, saying, Lord, save us, we are perishing. He said to them, Why are you terrified, O you of little faith? Then he got up, rebuked the winds and the sea, and there was a great calm. Then men were amazed and said, What sort of man is this? whom even the winds and the sea obey. Reflection If you are always terrified of life, that means God is not in you. You cannot profess deep faith if you are afraid all the time. It means you didn't trust God to take care of you. Of course, I don't mean that you'll put yourself at risk in every turn. Like this pandemic, of course, you're not going to act as if everything is back to normal and you'll go about just as you please, without a care for everyone else. You have a family to protect, and putting yourself at risk puts them at risk. What I'm saying is, be cautious, but trust that God will point you in the right direction. God is working over time these days. Don't make things harder for Him. That's all for now. If you like these kinds of videos, subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell so you won't miss out on any of my future uploads. Be safe and always keep God in your hearts. Peace to all.